to install Eclipse on your computer, just go to eclipse.org. From there, you want to go to the top right corner and click on download. Under the download, you want to get the latest IDE, which is the NEON, get Eclipse IDE 2019-12. Okay, so you can either go to the packages, let me just go there once. As you can see, basically down here you have Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java developers, uh, for Java developers non-enterprise, and Eclipse IDE for C++ developers. Eclipse ID for comedies, PHP developers, and uh, some more IDs depending on the use that you have. You can either go and only install the Eclipse ID for enterprise Java developers, or just use the uh, Eclipse installer 2019-12R, which is going to make life uh, much easier on you. Okay, so I already know I have a macOS x64 bit version, so I'll be downloading this. So just click over there and it's going to bring me over here and I simply go ahead and click on download right now and it's going to get downloaded. It's asking me if I want to let it download something to my computer. In this case, I'm going to say, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, you're more than welcome to donate to the community. It's always good because remember, this community is providing you with the IDE for free and also backs you up in future so uh, go ahead and donate as much as you feel comfortable doing it donation is not necessary to use the ID so now that the download is over I simply come here and click on the package it's gonna open up the package for me from this point on again it's gonna be very similar to any other installation that you had in the Mac OS before Eclipse installer is now available I double click on it and it's going to start installation process for me. Remember, um, depending on the security settings that you have, it may give you this message telling you that uh, this is downloaded from internet and your Mac OS is not guaranteeing it's going to be absolutely safe, but we know it's safe, so click on open. And the installer starts. Remember, this installer also downloads any package it need, packages needed uh, for your situation, so be patient with it. It may take some time. However, uh, depending on your uh, power, the machine power, it may uh, differ in the time that is going to keep you waiting. So anyway, it's going to bring us back to all the packages that are available for Eclipse. So I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Eclipse ID for Enterprise Developer for the sake of our exercises and the installation folder I'm not going to touch it it's going to put it in the Eclipse JEE 2019-R and I'm going to click on install of course there is a license agreement I accept it and the installation begins so I'm going to pause the video and here we are it's going to ask me to go ahead and look into both licenses for uh, foundation software user agreement and uh, the Eclipse itself so I'll simply go ahead and accept it I clicked on remembering the acceptance because if I want to install any packages in future it's not going to come back and ask me for those once again so at this point we will wait for the installation to be finished remember you have to be connected to internet as at this point it's also downloading the packages. During the installation you may receive some alerts up here about the speed of your download or a process taking longer than usual as long as it's not turning to red and erroring uh, for the connection just hold on let it do the work remain connected to the internet. Then it is asking me about the certifications of what is being downloaded. If you see the exact same certificates, make sure that you're seeing the exact same wording over there. Of course, accept it. Still downloading and installing is happening behind the scene. And finally, it is completed successfully. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and click on launch. 
and the Eclipse 2019-12 is going to start up. I'm going to go ahead and close these two. I don't need them anymore. So <clears throat> my ID is opening up. At this point, ID is asking me where my workspace is going to be. You can have it under your user uh, profile or you can just put it anywhere else that you want. I would love this to be in my documents. So I'm going to browse it and go to the documents folder. And under the documents folder, I like to create a new folder, name it Eclipse. Let me just go back. Eclipse Workspace. And I'm going to create the folder over there, set it to the path, and now it's under my document. Remember, this is important because in future, if you want to move the files around and everything, uh, I personally prefer to have them somewhere which are actually uh, easier to get access to. So I'm going to check this to keep this place as my default and not asking me anymore. If you like to decide uh, this every time you create a new project, you can easily uncheck this and click on launch. And now I have my Eclipse up and running very soon and ready to go. Remember, in order for your Eclipse to work properly and be able to compile the Java programs you develop in future, you need to have the Java JDK installed on your system. Uh, if you don't have it, just uh, go ahead and look at the previous video, which was about how to install JDK.